Uh, this was an event horse, and it had a severe response upon palpation um, of the dorsal spines and sacroiliac area. Um, it was very resistant to go forward and started refusing jumps, which it had never done before. Uh, we treated with shockwave, both 35 millimeter and the 80 millimeter probes along the dorsal spines and toward the sacroiliac area. We did three treatments here, three week intervals, and this horse sig significantly improved, went on back to work, and occasionally we would treat it once and again, six, 12 month intervals, but this horse largely returned to work and didn't need a lot of treatment. And that's our goal here, is to, if you can relieve the pain and get the horse back to work, they can start building the muscle, they can take care of themselves at that point. Um, this shows some of the diagnostic imaging on the right. You're seeing the bone scan and the impingement of the dorsal spinous processes. On the left, you're seeing a thermography, which is showing a similar type picture. Uh, probe placement, again, for the dorsal articular processes, which this horse had as well, um, and you can see those as kind of the, the white areas of articular process at the base of the spines, and there should be a nice kind of tipped L appearance to that joint, uh, and here there's just a white blob of proliferative new bone. Uh, so we tilt the probe slightly to get to that, and then again, we can downregulate the nociceptors there. And so this shows you as well for the sacroiliac, the placement of the probe. We come both cranially and caudally to the sacroiliac joint, um, and again, it, it provides some very potent pain relief there, and that's a joint that if you can get it comfortable, you can inject that joint as well with cortisone, and we do that as well too, but sometimes we want a non-invasive way to do it, um, and shockwave does play a role there. 